Hey everybody, Rob here, and today I'd like to run you through Assault on Ice Crown Citadel, which is part of the World of Warcraft trading card game that was taken over by Cryptozoic in, I can't remember now, it's been such a long time, 2010-2011, and I figured I'd run through a game just to show you what is included, and you do not need any World of Warcraft trading card game decks. Everything is provided in Ice Crown Citadel. So let's get started. Now my copy of Ice Crown Citadel is used, so you're going to have to bear with me here, but I shall show you the contents when we open this up. Normally, when you open a brand new pack, you'll get the hero cards. Oversized hero cards, we'll go over. You'll receive four decks, one, two, three, four. One is to be used by the pilot, the other three will be used against you. And typically right here will be the treasure pack, and above here, the uh, hero cards. Usually there's a rule book. So in order to defeat the Lich King, these three heroes here are going to team up and do battle. Dark Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, High Lord Tyrion Forgering, and Lady Jaina Proudmore. Giggity, 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 goo. So each will have their own modifier that begins when the game starts. Sylvanas and her allies will have Assault 1. On your turn, you flip Sylvanas. Tyrion Forgering... He has Mend 1, so he'll heal. He also has some tanking capabilities. And Jaina's the Mage and has the Brilliance Aura. If Jaina would deal damage, he gets plus 1 instead, but yada yada yada. So, the art of the cards is actually pretty cool. I love the art that they do. And the Lich King... Playing the Lich King is all about stalling. So, you have 10 turns to do what you're going to do if you want to win. And... When you flip, after 10 turns, he deals 300,000 unpreventable shadow damage to everybody and yells Apocalypse. So you want to defeat him, and he has 60 health, and you want to kill him before he does that. So it's all a game of stalling. So let's get everything shuffled and set up, and I will explain the game. As you can see on the board here, everybody starts with a hand of 7 cards the camera would focus. There we go. The boss player begins the game with his turn, and he will draw seven cards, and he is allowed to mulligan. Everybody here can mulligan their hands if they choose to do so. So let's start off the boss's turn. Now, when we look at the boss's hand, we have a good assortment of cards. We have one, two, three abilities, two creatures, or allies, I'll just call them creatures, and two quests. Now, this exact lineup, I'm not very happy with it, so what we're going to do is I'm going to call a mulligan and reshuffle. Sometimes when you reshuffle, it pays off, and sometimes it doesn't. So with this hand, we've got pretty much all creatures and three quests. So the Dredge Ghoul, or the Drudge Ghoul, is a cost one, and we can play him on the very first turn. But look what we got in the first draw. We got the Prince. Uh, there's a Prince strategy that we'll go over during turn 5, but this is inevitable that you're going to want to play the Princes because they have a modifier that starts turning off equipment, uh, ability, and ally powers, and you want that on the board and for your allies to, or your, excuse me, your opponents to deal with it. So Fester Guts there as well, and um, he can do some pretty serious damage. I'm not really that big on Sour Fang, but we will get to him, so let's play our first hand. So now what I'll do is I'll play my first resource, and I'll put Drudge, Drudge Ghoul, I'm just going to put call him the Ghoul into play. So he has Servant of Undeath, and he's a 4-2 for 1, which is an amazing cost. And you may play this ally from your graveyard, so if you have a cost of 1, you can exhaust this, and you could play him from the graveyard if you'd like to bring him back. So that's really cool. So that is all that the Lich King can do for his first turn, so he will end his turn. Let's go to Jaina. Excuse me, let's go to Sylvanas. Now, when we look at Sylvanas' hand here, we've got a pretty good selection of abilities as well as quests and allies. And good cost, too. So what we're going to want to do is start by playing one of these quests. Um, I'd start with Death's Gaze, just in case he drops a Defile. Then again, we're going to be playing the Proving Grounds anyway, so it doesn't matter which one you play right now. But you definitely want to play Firewalker, Wyland, Catalan, Sith first because her deck, uh, Sylvanas' deck, is ally-focused. And her ability grants her grants all of her, her and her allies Assault 1. So let's go and play that now. So for Sylvanas, I'll play my first quest, exhaust it, 
and we will put Fire Warden into play. Now he has what's called Summoning Sickness and he can't attack during his first turn. It's the same thing for the ghoul on the uh, boss's side of the field. Now Sylvanas has Assault 1 right now while attacking. And since it doesn't cost anything to use her, we can use her to attack the Lich King the very first turn. So you can do that, and since there's no protectors on the field, he'll take one damage. It's not much, but you might as well get started. If we look at Tyrion's hand for the first time, this is absolutely beautiful. We've got a cost one drop ally to cost one abilities that are the same, a couple of quests. And look what we got on the first draw, Ashbringer. Now, in the World of Warcraft Online game, there were players that actually sought out this weapon and actually died trying to find it. Yes, the people that played the game actually died. But let's get back to the card game. Arthas hates this weapon for a reason, and not just because it's infused with the light, but because it is invincible. This weapon cannot leave play or be targeted. Period. So you could discard it to the graveyard, but that's it. I mean, you can't do crap. And it's a 6-0 swing. That is uber. So we can't play that until turn four, so we're just going to hang on to it and hope that I don't have to discard it. So what you want to do first is play either Tyrion's Gambit or Proving Grounds and drop the Veteran Crusader first. So let's do that. Nina's hand was also good. We got a lot of cost one and cost two drop allies. So I'm going to keep this hand, and we have between Lady Bancroft, two Lady Bancrofts, Bane, Ban, Bane, what does it say? Bancroft. And we'll drop her. It's currently the Lich King's turn, and I readied my resource and drew a card. And I drew a quest. So what we're going to do is play it. And currently, I have a 4, 5, 2 quests, and another 5, so I can't do crap. And because it's not turn three, I cannot use Undeath's Armaments, which the Lich King can use to fetch either Frostmourne or the Helm of Domination. And we can't do that. So what we can do as the boss is we have that Drudge Ghoul as a 4-2. So on the board right now, I would say right now the biggest threat would be the Veteran Crusader Alioka Sigard from Tyrion. Because that ally has plus one, plus one for each other unique ally, and I don't want him growing any bigger than he actually is, because he is a unique ally. So with an attack of four, I am going to attack him, and Veteran Crusader Alioka has one, one. He will swing back and deal one damage to the Dredge Ghoul, but Alioka's cigar is destroyed in the process. So, unfortunately, that's all I can do, and I'll have to end my turn as the boss. Sylvanas, we will ready everything and draw a card, and I drew another quest, Proving Grounds. So we'll play him, and now anything that's cost two or less, I can play from my hand. So we have two different cards we can play. We can play Tyrenia Scathe Blade, who's a protector, who's a 3-2, or we can play Arcane Shot and deal one arcane damage to target hero or ally and draw a card. So you could, in theory, play Arcane Shot, hit the Drudge Ghoul, and draw a card. This is actually a good idea because, although it's early and we want to put allies out on the board, that Drudge Ghoul is going to be a pain in the butt because he's got four attack, but at the same time, you could collaborate with Jaina to say, hey, look, can you actually hit that ally? Or should you play Arcane Shot? And one question is, and you have to, re you have to realize that, should you take the sacrifice and arcane shot this thing right now and give Jaina more abilities so she can, th or more resources so she can throw out more abilities? This is a tough question that you're going to have to consider when you're raiding. So do you want to throw out an ally? Or do you want to arcane shot this thing? So for craps and giggles, I'm going to arcane shot Drudge Ghoul and draw a card. So I'll pay two to do so. So that goes in the graveyard. Pay two. I just two shot of him. He goes to the Lich King graveyard. And Sylvanas will draw a card. Let's see what we draw. A quest. And remember, Sylvanas has assault two, or 